Hi, I'm Sunny Leone, and you're watching Bollywood Hungama. Ram Sampath has done the music. Pavni Pandey has 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 done the the, the singing as well. Uh, something about Ram Sampath and and Pavni that you like to say. Thank you. Mm. <laughs> um, biggest biggest thank you. Um, I, you know, I, I know I say this a lot, but I do feel really blessed that a lot of amazing people end up working on a song that I get to dance mm. on or be a part of, and you know, they're the reasons why the song sounds so amazing. So. Mm. Thank you. <laughs> okay, now uh, BBC has adjusted you as uh, one of the hundred uh, most influential people uh, in, in the world. So how, how how do you react to that? How so it's it's, uh, it's, un it's mm. like unbelievable. <laughs> um, I didn't quite realize the magnitude of what that meant until I saw mm. everybody else on that list. Right. I don't see myself the way people see me, but I was really happy and proud to be a part of that list. And it's you know it's not a one regional, you know, or one country list. It's mm. a international list. And to see like Alicia Keys is number one or, you know, some of the other women on there, mm. it feels great. Do you, do you at times feel that maybe you should do like a, a tribute song or something like that to, to Google actually because uh, <laughs> every, every year somehow you just end up, end up meeting almost anyone and everyone. <laughs> do, do you think that that's, that's like a good way of just, just paying a tribute to, to Google as well? Um, <laughs> yeah, if they want to do something, that's fine. They should just have like a pop-up of me saying, hi, thanks, Google, <laughs> on their landing page. <laughs> now, uh, Sunny, we've taken a few questions from your fans. Uh, it's been quite some time that, that we've met. So let's take a few questions. This is Palak from Rajasthan. If you got a chance to write bi a biography, what would be the title and for whom you would, uh, you would dedicate it to? Um, the title, I, I'm not sure, but I do find... Marilyn Monroe's life really interesting, mm. um, although many movies have been made about her. Um, I, I love that era, that time, so people in that time I find very interesting. No, I, think, I think she means, means that if you would like to write your own biography. My own? Yeah, what would be the title and the, whom, like, whom would you like to dedicate it to? I don't know what I would call it. Maybe I'd call it my real name, Garanjit. Mm -hmm. um, and it, it would be to my parents, really. All right. This is Nisarg from Ahmedabad, Gujarat. Is there any scene of yours in Rais or are you there for just one song? I'm there for just one song. Right. It's my two and a half minutes of the most amazing moments of my life. <laughs> so it's just a song um, and I'll keep dreaming that I get to do a scene. <laughs> All right. Um, this is Hanita from Myanmar. If you have to describe the whole shooting of Leila's song with King Khan in one word, what would it be? Epic. <laughs> Epic. Epic. <laughs> Okay, uh, this is Almina from Mumbai. Any sweet moment can you share which you had while shooting for Rays? Um, like every moment was a sweet moment. <laughs> um, the whole experience was, was absolutely sweet and amazing and being able to shoot with Shah Rukh Khan was awesome. The first time that I saw myself and him on the screen for the first time together, it was the most amazing moment. Okay, this is Fahad Noor from Mumbai. Um, hi ma'am, I'm your biggest fan in the world. It's my birthday on this <laughs> Sunday. If you can wish me and a few words about me. <laughs> What's his name again? Fahad Noor. Fahad Noor. Happy yeah. birthday. I wish you all the love and success and uh, make sure you have Leila on replay at your birthday party. Okay, this is uh, Kanad Roy from Durgapur, West Bengal. Uh, what drives you every day to work with dedication and sincerity? Because I believe in the work that I'm doing and I really want to be here. I want to work and I want to wake up and go to shoots and do crazy hours of PR or, you know, so many different things. This is my dream. So that's what gets me up in the morning. You've also taken uh, some, some, some acting training and, and Amir has helped you out with his, with his yeah. acting, acting coach. How was that experience? Yeah, so I, I called him up and I said, do you know of an acting coach? And I didn't think that he'd actually, you know, I mm. don't have expectations in life from people, but... Uh, it was really nice of him and he gave me a number to a really good um, acting coach and Hindi coach mm. because I've been speaking Hindi for five years but no one corrects me and they go oh how cute she's speaking Hindi yeah. but no one corrects me at all <laughs> or you know that I have a Punjabi you know twang or mm. slant you know like certain words come out in Punjabi mm. that I have no idea that I'm doing right. um, so I know that those things need to get fixed and after my last few movies, something needs to change. Definitely. So it needs to just 
be myself then. Mm, absolutely. Because um, absolutely. that's the only thing that I can work on. Absolutely. So that was I think, really I, think I think that's a wonderful approach. But uh, And um, considering a, a few of your movies have, haven't done well now, now this, this this song has, has become like a, such, such a raging success uh, before it's, it's released itself. Uh, is there a, like a change of game plan for you as far as your uh, forthcoming movie is concerned? The, do you have some, some considering you've, you've taken acting acting classes anyways, but is, is there anything else that you're doing? So I waited until the last couple of movies that were released mm. um, before I signed a few other movies. That mm. I've signed a few movies now. And mm. there's just a different approach to everything as G well now. G because you just, you learn from your mistakes. I don't have a godfather, I don't have anybody, you know, Daniel and I don't have anybody telling us you should do this or you shouldn't, sure. which in a way is a good thing and a bad thing altogether. Mm. Mm. And we have to go with what's on the table. Absolutely. You know, and I'm not going to wait for the perfect project. Mm. I'm going to work, I'm going to work on the projects that I believe in or that I like the story or the producer is great and I know they can make a good film or the director's great. So all these different puzzle pieces the approach has definitely changed, and also the you know the acting coach and Hindi coach. I really want to dub my own movie I'm because sure. I think sometimes people choose voices for me that I don't know. It just sounds weird. Right. Uh, at least it sounds weird to me. Um, I know what I was feeling that moment. How does that dubbing artist? No, no, definitely, definitely. In fact, that that's something that we've been. Uh We've been talking, I think, yeah. in, in quite a few of our interviews as well. Now, Bachao, you, you're having another song which is b being spoken about uh, in a big way. You enjoyed sh shooting for that? It was awesome. Mm. That was also, you know, it's, it's been a really interesting, amazing, difficult, awesome year. <laughs> you know, I'd, mm. and I'm happy that it's, the year is ending on, on really such a high note. I'm going to knock on wood because it's not, the no, year's no, not absolutely. over yet. Absolutely, absolutely. <laughs>